So I was uh, the last one to get married, and uh, 39 years, uh, I was a bachelor. And then uh, one day, I went to the library, and I met a woman. I have notified the American Library Association and told them they're free to use that quote on all their promotional materials. <laughs> so far, nothing. I think it looked nifty on a bookmark. I went to the library and I met a woman. But we got married and uh, we moved to a farm. It's a small little farm. It's 37 uh, acres, which most days is 36.5 too many. And um, I'm in over my head uh, with a lot of things, and I'm in over my head on the farm. And that's, that's hard for me to admit, because I am a farm kid, and I'm blue collar. That's my background. I love working hard, and I love getting in there, but I'm just not qualified. It's like with mechanical stuff, you know. Um, I know how to run a wrench, and I love to get in there. And, and, and because of my background, it's embarrassing for me to admit that, unfortunately, I mean, I can do the basics. I can, I can change out a spun bearing. I can do some bubblegum welding. I can run a gas hatchet. But once you lift the hood, I'm in over my head. I, and, and although because of my background, I know how to act once you lift the hood, which is really half the battle. I mean, you know, so if you're working on your old 1951 International, and what you do is you, you, you lift that hood and you lean in there. <laughs> Suck your tooth a little bit. <laughs> Maybe spit. <laughs> and then at some point, you straighten up and you back away and you utter what is my all-time favorite guys looking at trucks, engines quote, which is, yeah, looks like we're gonna have to pull her. <laughs> I got no idea what you do with her once you pull her, but I know you gotta pull her. And as a matter of fact, when I, I wrote that book about resurrecting my old 1951 International, I, because I'm so mechanically incompetent, I had to get someone to help me and uh, that was my brother-in-law, Mark. And uh, my brother-in-law, Mark, is one of these guys that of a Sunday afternoon, he likes to watch him a little NASCAR while drinking a Bush beer and sitting in his recliner, which has been reupholstered in genuine tree bark camouflage fabric. <laughs> but he's also an excellent machinist. He spends his days fabricating things the rest of us sit on and pull on and use every day without thinking about it. And uh, he's also a talented mechanic and uh, does good body work, so he's good for the job. And as I, as I say often and said in the book, he's most importantly, he is a good husband to my sister. And she, frankly, is no walk in the park. So. <laughs> We are grateful to him for the good work he does. <laughs> <laughs>